Hi everybody, welcome to Man Cake. My name is Dan, and today we're gonna to be doing a yummy keto snickerdoodle cookie. They're gonna be super cute and tiny, just a quick grab and go snack. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you can stay up to date on weekly recipes. And before we start, be sure to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And let's start on these delicious keto cookies. Now our first step is to just grab a mixing bowl and start adding in our dry ingredients. So let's start with one cup of coconut flour, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, three quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, a half teaspoon of salt, and one cup of powdered swerve. Now we'll just take our little handy whisk and mix all those dry ingredients together just where there's no clumps and everything's nice and mixed and just hanging out together. Now with our dry ingredients all whisked up together, let's start by adding in our wet ingredients. First, by adding in two eggs, yolks and the whites, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one stick of soft butter. Now with our hand mixer, we're gonna start on a low speed and mix all these ingredients until they're well incorporated. Gradually move up to a medium speed, or you can just hang out on a low speed and keep everything mixed in until they're, you know, nice and you know, hanging out together. With our batter officially done, now we can go ahead and start rolling these out into small little balls and placing them on our cookie sheet. Now if you want a big cookie, you can increase the size, but sometimes I like kind of a, a small grab and go cookie, so I'm gonna keep them a little small today. But again, if you want them bigger, make them bigger. It's all up to you. And once you have your little ball rolled out, we're gonna go ahead and roll that around in a nice little mixture of one cup of brown sugar substitute and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. And you just repeat until your cookie tray is nice and full with yummy snickerdoodle cookies. Now let's go ahead and flatten these out a little bit. This way they kind of bake evenly. You can do this with either the bottom side of a glass or like me today, just the bottom side of a measuring cup. Now with our cookies ready to go, let's bake these in the oven for 12 minutes. Now while our cookies are baking, let's go ahead and start on our cream filling. It's gonna be kind of the, the yummy center between, you know, kind of like a, a cookie sandwich. So in a mixing bowl, you're gonna to wanna to add one cup of powdered swerve, a teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of milk, one stick of softened butter. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix all these ingredients on a high speed with our hand mixer. If you find that your filling might be a little too thin, feel free to go ahead and add more swerve powdered sugar. I would suggest adding in maybe a tablespoon at a time if you have that right consistency that you're looking for. Now with our filling all done, I think it's time to check on these cookies and see how they're doing. So with our cookies baked, cooled out a little bit, I think they're ready for that delicious cream filling and then we can start sandwiching them together and start, mm, just do the best part, the taste test. 
Now let's go ahead and get this yummy cream filling on the bottom layer of our cookies. And then we just go ahead and place the toppers on. And once you finish topping your cookies, you'll end up with your delicious snickerdoodle cream cookie sandwiches. It's a, a perfect, quick, grab and go snack. And I think it's time for the taste test. Go with, let's go with this little guy back here. Look how cute, it's like a little, little baby cookie. It may be tiny, but they really just pack a delicious, yummy flavor. I mean, the cinnamon, the just, mm, just yummy snickerdoodle flavor, like classic snickerdoodle flavor, but in keto form. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and so you can try brand new weekly recipes. And if you do make these cute little delicious snickerdoodle cookies, definitely give a tag on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. You know, all the social places. Until next week, bye.